Hey guys, this is your boy Dino aka DRP here and welcome back to another video to my channel. This is a video of me just kind of explaining my, I guess my very first experience on uh, Comic Con guys. Now, you guys are probably thinking I was planning on doing a vlog. I genuinely was planning on doing a vlog. However, it became, it became so hard to record stuff within the Comic Con because it was so crowded. You could barely hear my voice. You could barely hear my voice at all so it got to the point where i just couldn't you know, like any of the older videos that i've just recorded it's just um you can't hear my voice at all and i you know talk about a lot of stuff it was cool don't get me wrong um it was very cool and i really wanted to share it with you through as a vlog but i just couldn't because um like i said you couldn't hear my inputs my anything i said there were times where i was just moving my mouth and because of the huge background noises around i i you know you won't be able to hear me which is why i feel like when i'm going to do a vlog for let's say a comic con in the future i really need to set things up like have a mic as well at the same time and that way that would help you guys actually hear me <laughs> properly despite the noises in the back one it makes it so much better but unfortunately you know i you know none of the videos are going to be viable unfortunately here's what i'm trying to say um yeah uh this was my very first time going to a comic con ever in my life if you guys are wondering uh, i had a blast i actually had a blast it was absolutely amazing i knew people were going to cosplay it's the uh, if you guys are wondering which comic con i went to it's the mcn comic con in london um it was actually really good like the the the, the arena they got for it is actually not that far from my place as well um and the the venue was humongous like i was seeing it from the outside of like i went with my um brother-in-law and um I was like, yo, is that the venue they use all the time? They were like, he was like, yeah, it's a pretty big venue. I was like, damn, it is a huge venue, guys. Um, so uh, we managed to get the tickets and whatnot. Um, they give you this um card, this card, and you have to activate it. Uh, the um the card that you get after you present your tickets that you bought online. Um, I went inside and you instantly like we went in like. It was meant to start at 10 but we got there for like nine o'clock and by then a, a bunch of people already came there despite how early it was like an hour or more before um you know even though people will get to go there early things didn't open up until after 10 o'clock and um so we went there quite early so i was like cool let's check out uh, check it out and um if you guys are wondering i did go with this well i had my um I had my um, uh, Mastered Ultra Instinct uh, Goku hoodie. I was wearing that in the Comic Con. Um, I, you know, I had to do something. You know, I was plan I did want to cosplay. I'm not gonna lie. Unfortunately, um, you know, the timing was an issue since um, uh, they asked me with not many days remaining, right? So it was very hard to get cosplay out of the way. But I do really want to do another uh, a cosplay in the future uh for comic-con but yeah as i was saying the comic-con was amazing like full of full of amazing people like the people there are actually very nice and very approachable that's one thing for sure um at least the people that i've interacted with absolutely amazing like they would um you know if you ask them you know can i take a picture of you or can you know can i take a picture of you or with you uh they are more than happy to do that that's completely fine uh in fact um i don't know if i've got this um i mean let me show you let me show a photo because um so basically i was going through the store so th basically this is just one huge section like it goes from i don't know how to explain it it's humongous right the space is so humongous and there's like so many stores and to go through that one side so there's one side here and then one side there and then in the middle there's kind of like food stalls uh drink someone now costa shop there's a costa shop and if you want lunch or anything you can do that but at the side is where all the comic con stuff is happening and then there's the um uh cosplay event and then on top of that there's like the autographs photographs with guests that are coming to comic con and then on top of that there was like uh screenings for the my hero academia movie the new one world hero mission 
uh, along with Q and A with a few people. This there was even going to be a, a conversation between the anime man and uh, um, CV Dog. Uh, I can't even remember the dude's name. Um, both really big YouTubers within the anime commu community, and they were going to have a comment, uh, you know, conversation in the Comic Con, whether it's going to be online or like face to face. I don't know. Uh, but unfortunately, we, uh, me and my brother-in-law left by then. Um, but yeah, so uh, the stores was like so huge, and to go through all of them, it took us at least a good half an hour to one hour. Like there was so many things to check out, and uh, I had an absolute blast watching it. Uh, let me see if I can show you the picture though. Um, come on, come on. Um, so do, do, do. yeah there you go okay so um as i was going through uh some of the store uh, stalls i came across uh some individual ones so uh one thing that tends to happen is that in these conventions a lot of the individual artists individual uh i guess uh, designers actually come in to show off their own artwork and whatnot and we could either buy the ones that they have in store or we could uh, take the visiting card, uh, business card and whatnot, and then, um, you know, ask them for any custom made stuff. So, uh, as I was there, I saw, uh, the, um, you know, I saw some Apex designs. I was like, y is there any other Apex designs? Because, uh, there was, uh, only Valkyrie ones. And then she goes, nah, the other ones have been sold out. And as I was talking to her, I saw someone come in with, um, a, uh, Bloodhound, uh, cosplay. And I was like, no way, that's Bloodhound. Nah, I need to take a picture with you. And uh, it was actually a girl, uh, so I was really impressed that she actually came. You know, she was actually getting, able to get all of this out. Um, she was like, "Sure," and uh, I took the picture with her. It was, yo, she she was amazing, uh, and even the um, um, the uh, girl uh, who was um, to, uh, who was in the shop at the time talking to me, the person serving me, uh, even came out and said, "You know, can I take a picture of Bloodhound as well?" So I got her phone, took a picture of her. Uh, she lived really. She really likes Bloodhound as a Apex player. I mean, Bloodhound's probably one of the most uh, effective, you know, Apex play, uh, Apex legends out there. Apex characters out there. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm someone who mains fuse, but Bloodhound is really good. I used to use uh, Bloodhound a lot when I started the game. Um, but yeah, there was um, so many stores to for people to show off their individual artworks and whatnot. Um, a lot of anime stuff like anime wise there was a bunch of stuff so many stuff do you know what it is uh there was so many amazing stuff that were there that my hands started itching and it took me everything i had in my ability to not buy every single thing in the <laughs> in the uh comic-con convention because not only were the things that i saw were really nice and really cool it's actually a lot more cheaper than I thought, especially figurines, guys. Figurines, you know, there's the, the I saw a bunch of figurines. I saw All Might figurine, um, Endeavor figurine, Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta figurine, Goku Black figurine, uh, Deku, uh, Bakuga, and Todoroki World Hero Mission uh, figurines. And the prices were much, much cheaper in Comic Con than it would be outside of Comic-Con because there was a time where I went to Camden Town, I think, and uh, there are some anime shops right there, anime stuff that I could buy there. I do remember the prices there and it was pretty expensive when I went to check it out there. And I felt like the prices in Comic-Con for figurines uh, and just every other stuff in general were actually pretty reasonable, which makes it even harder for me to not buy anything. <laughs> so, but I did end up buying one thing. I ended up buying one figurine and that's it, you know, because it's not that it's not that I don't have the money because, you know, even if I did, it's just hard to, you know, it's just, sorry, it's just hard to um really have those figurines out and about and then set up in the way I do, especially with this room. Um, when I do eventually move out with my family to another house and get a better room, more spacious room, build it in a way that I like, then I can set it up. Or whether it's me, um, you know, moving out by myself, getting a new place and then, you know, going that way to get it, you know, I will eventually buy like a stand 
dedicated just to mainly anime stuff, whether it's just magazines, um, uh, mangas, because I do have, I've showed you guys during the uh, live stream that I've got the Death Note um, manga, complete manga set, um, or whether it's figurines, whether it's posters, canvases, anything in general, I just want to dedicate it and just build it up, right? So, for fuck's sake, sorry. Um, so there was this, um, um, you know, there was a store there, uh, where there was this raffle, there was a specific raffle, right? And next to that raffle ticket, there's a bunch of canvases that they've already created with a lot of Pokemon art. There was a lot of Pokemon art there, they were very beautiful, by the way. There's the art of two Eevees, Gengar, uh, I was going to say Squirtle, no, Squirtle, uh, Charizard, uh, Ash Pikachu, now, when I say Ash Pikachu, it's basically Pikachu with Ash's hat on. It's kind of like another version of Pikachu, right? So, um, or it's treated as a, another version of Pikachu in like certain games and whatnot. So I tend to call it Ash Pikachu. <laughs> so I don't say a Pikachu. I just call it Ash Pikachu. I'm sure, that, you know, everyone else in the Pokemon community call it Ash Pikachu as well. So basically, um, there was so many other stuff there as well. Um, and basically the raffle uh, was basically you trying to get like, a certain amount of coins like uh, colored coins and depending on what color coins you get you get the items for free uh and um you know me and my um brother-in-law tried it uh i basically got all the worst coins resulting me getting a bunch of lollipops <laughs> so and then um but i did win three postcards so i was i was i actually were well, i actually got uh three postcards um so out of the seven picks three of them was postcards four of them was lollipops i was like i don't care about lollipops um but these posters i get to choose these posters so let me just show you so the first one first post that i chose yeah, so basically i don't have to basically use this as a poster i could put you know frame it um you know use a a6 frame uh the woman at the place told me you could just get a6 frame just laminate and frame it for yourself. I was like, yeah, you know what? I should do that. So the first one is a Kadabra right there. Uh, I, I chose the ones that, which actually looked cool. So this is a Kadabra right there. Uh, Kadabra is really cool. Uh, it would have been better if there was an Alakazam there, but there was no Alakazams, so it's okay. This one I really liked as well, along with the third one. So the second one is actually a Gengar. This Gengar one actually looks really cool. Like, I really like this Gengar. But Gengar is actually one of my favorite Pokemon in, you know, back then as well. Uh, I, I still like it now. It's still a really good Pokemon. This one though, ho ho ho. Yes. <laughs> Mewtwo. Ah, uh, yo, this Mewtwo looked so good. I was like, you know, I have to get this. So all of these, you know, so winning three postcards like that, I was like, you know what? That's, she's like, you, you pick it. It's your choice. You know, you want the postcards, pick your choice. I was like, okay, okay, that's cool. And um, the three postcards I got and um, the lollipops i forgot i was like you know i forget it <laughs> no, i think i gave it to no, i think i bought it i don't know where i put it but yeah the figurine i bought though the figurine i bought so there were so many figurines out there like there was like the figurines had such great prices it's hard to not buy one right but it was it was a matter of which one do i buy um i ended up buying one my brother-in-law however kind of splashed out he went all out, right? He, he ended up buying two or three figurines. I think he bought a £65 adult Sasuke figurine. It's a humongous one. I'm telling you, it's a humongous one. A humongous Sasuke. You know, I'm talking about Shippuden Sasuke, right? Um, you know, the one with the um, white and purple costume with the sword on his back. Yeah, he bought that Sasuke. Uh, he also bought a bunch of other stuff as well, like a framed photo of Ash Pikachu, I think. So I think he, yeah, he did buy an Ash Pikachu frame photo, um, frame picture and whatnot. So he splashed out. So basically the only thing I brought was a figurine and it was a very good price, but it's not what you guys are expecting. I'm sure you guys are expecting it's going to be a Naruto one or a Dragon Ball Z one. No, it's actually a Jujutsu Kaisen figurine. It's actually um, Sukuna, if you guys don't know. It's actually Sukuna possessed in uh, Itadori Yuji's um, body. Um, if you guys remember, I did do, uh, recently did, um, um, Jujutsu Kaisen reactions and I absolutely loved it. Sukuna is absolutely amazing. Uh, there was, um, a Sato Gojo figurine, although there was basically a Sato Gojo figurine, 
uh, Itta Yuji, uh, Nobura and um, Megumi figurines as well but when I saw all of them and then I saw this this one impressed me just because of his expression like look at that expression right there man he just look he just looks menacing <laughs> this is probably this is pretty much how this figurine looks i don't know his expression just looks absolutely menacing to me so i was like yo i'm gonna get this and uh, yeah actual size color style and decoration may vary um so yeah this was the figurine i bought for, for myself uh, i'm not gonna open it of course uh cause uh like i said this uh, you know when i get a proper room nice space i'll set everything up mm, yeah <laughs> so until then this will stay in the box they did have a give me a free dragon ball uh volume i guess they actually ended up giving me you know the very first uh, dragon ball volume one um which is actually pretty cool uh volume one and uh yeah uh, oh wait, is this is it this way? Dragon Ball. Uh, what side is that actually? Oh shit! Okay, so it's. Oh wait, this this has all the, this has the kid boost stuff. Oh wait, oh wait, wait a second. Oh my god! Okay, that's okay. Wait, what? How did? Wait, how have they done this? Right. Okay, so from that's weird, bro. That is so weird how they done that. Ah, uh, okay, okay, this is interesting. You see what they've done? So they've kind of printed the first, very first volume of Dragon Ball and then the very first volume of Dragon Ball Super. So it's kind of like the first chapters, you could say, the first chapter of Dragon Ball and then the first chapter of Dragon Ball Super. Which is why I was very confused. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, exactly. That's what's going on, bruh. Why did they do that? That's so weird, the way they've gone ahead and done that. Um, okay, that's very weird. The battle continues in Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super Volume 1. Yeah, so the Dragon Ball Super Volume 1 starts off from when Goku defeats Kid Buu. And then Earth is back to peace, I guess. And uh, Goku's just there working in the farm, I guess. And then this Dragon Ball, obviously, you guys know what Dragon Ball is. So that was a free book right there. So that was cool. Um, crayons. <laughs> so, I mean, these were like the free stuff. They also said that, oh, you're going to be entered into a raffle. Uh, come back later around 3 o'clock, 3.30 for the winner. That was like, the, and my car, my brother-in-law said, who's gonna? how many winners are there going to be? And they just said one winner. And I'm like, bruh. Do you know how many people came to buy in that store? And you're telling me there's only anybody got it only gonna be one winner now, man. We left. Um but yeah. Uh we care we went there, we ate, had some food and drinks as well. Uh I had a good time. I had a very really good time. For my first experience in Comic Con, uh it's actually really good. Like everything there is amazing. Like uh everything is very fascinating to look at. And one thing I've realize this you, you one day is not enough for the comic-con comic-con normally goes on for like two to three days right sometimes you probably need two or those three days to actually check out every single thing possible you know one day isn't enough that's my opinion when it comes to comic-con one day is just not enough um you know the hardcore comic-con fans will probably come in uh you know stay at a hotel and go all three days right which is i commend that uh you know passion and even if it's a one-time thing i might not i i might not mind doing that i wouldn't mind doing that even if it's a one-time thing probably will be a one-time thing but i wouldn't mind doing that you know going all three days in comic-con uh because actually you know despite despite being so fascinated and be despite being it my first time so i was struggling to know where to go what to look at and what things were there i genuinely had a good time i really did uh with my brother-in-law as well and um i feel like comic-con is also a place where it feels like it'll be a lot more enjoyable the more people goes with you the more people you go with or the more the bigger your group is when you do go to comic-con the better it is in my opinion like it's a lot more fun that way like me and my brother-in-law we kind of like skimmed through the places even though we went around like three or four times we went in at a reasonably fast pace and i was like if we were in a bigger group it would be a lot more relaxing 
a lot more we take more time to you know check out things and appreciate things right um because um my brother-in-law was kind of uh, running low on sleep as well because that apparently he didn't finish work until like three or four o'clock in the morning and he ca came back he went back home slept for like two hours and then came uh so that we could go comic con so yeah he knew he's kind of running low on sleep so yeah the, it was amazing absolutely amazing i had a blast uh in comic con and i feel like next time i go that will be a lot more prepared uh whether it's uh me doing a cosplay that's the thing i wouldn't know what to cosplay as that's the thing i i honestly wouldn't know what to cosplay as that's that's probably the biggest question in my mind when i left there my even my brother-in-law was like yo well, i need to cosplay when i come here i was like yo well, what are you gonna cosplay as he's like, i don't know man just need to see uh i heard that the next one might be in october i'm not exactly sure like the specific date in mind but if it's a if it is in october I might actually see if I can book some holidays and go to the October Comic Con, but this time actually go in uh, with a uh, cosplay. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, that's pretty much my um, experience with the Comic Con right there, MCM Comic Con. I'm sorry once again for not being able to show any footages for this. Well, as soon as it got to the Comic Con, it just like the, any of the footages that I had that you couldn't hear anything like it was so loud i just didn't make i i i in a way i underestimated it <laughs> i underestimated it because the thing is comic-con didn't happen last year because of covid from what i remember uh my um you know my brother-in-law said um it was cancelled due to covid so if if i'm right in saying that this is the first comic-con running since covid times it was very packed it was very packed but at the same time he also said that there was not m as many things as he expected because the the year before last year he said there was a lot more things going on in comic-con there was even um there was even like game sections gamer sections where people could actually go on uh have like do out with each other in specific game consoles with the game consoles they have they could you know play games and go against each other uh there, there was nothing like that from what i saw today uh i don't know like there was there was a lot of space in those rooms they could have taken advantage of but like i said it's their first there it's the if the if it's their first time back since covid uh if this is the first comic con since covid i think they're trying to not go overboard right uh i mean it was already like crazy packed anyways but uh, i felt like they still held back which is fine which is understandable totally understandable um maybe they had only like a certain amount of threshold to reach with the uh people coming in and once that threshold is reached boom yeah that's it um yeah i would love to go to another comic con and this time i'll be a lot more prepared i would definitely make sure uh, i'll be getting the right equipments to make sure that you guys will get the best experience out of it so yeah on that note i'll end the video ahead guys thank you so much for watching my you know my discussion video me talking about my comic-con experience hope you guys really enjoyed it you should you guys should go to a comic-con as well it's fun it's actually a lot more fun than i thought like i said the people are amazing to talk to like they're very amazing to talk to they're actually very encouraging um yeah it's great it's great beautiful people there so yeah make sure to check it out if you ever get the time so if you guys did enjoy my video be sure to smash the like button comment and share those good things and see more content on me doing more um i guess discussion videos like this in the future however guess if you guys are new to the channel consider hitting that subscribe button join the drp guild today so you won't miss a single video for my channel whether it's reactions to or whether it's videos to me discussing about things or any other vlogging videos which i did try to do really really tried guys i now a part of me is really frustrated that i couldn't put this out for you because you, you could barely hear me when it came to the comic con convention so yeah uh any other videos being called the series good to see on this channel so be sure to comment subscribe but most importantly have fun and join the journey with me so as always guys this is your boy dina signing out have a nice day stay awesome and i'll see you guys in the next video so until then peace